ready for this week's story? I've got my little girl here, Abigail, and she's going to join us for this week's story. This story is about a woman. A woman who becomes the hero of our story, but she didn't start out that way. Her name was Rahab, and she lived in a city called Jericho. Rahab's job was to keep the king's men happy. This didn't make her too popular with others though, but everyone knew Rahab. One day, a rumour went round the city that there was two Israelite spies caught casing the joint, when suddenly Rahab heard a bang on her door, and standing in front of her were the two spies. She let them in, and they spoke together about the amazing works that the God of the Israelites did, how he looked after his people and provided for all their needs. Rahab knew that this God they spoke about must be the one true living God. But she was a sinner. She had done many bad things. Her job was even bad. People only wanted her because of what she could do for them, not because of who she was. Would this God be any different? It wasn't long before word reached the king of Jericho about the two spies visiting Rahab's house. The king sent his guards to go and fetch them. Rahab had a choice to make. Should she honour her king and hand over the men who would definitely be thrown into prison, if not killed? Or maybe she should honour and trust these two men and their God, who she had heard so much about. The banging at the door came and shouts from the guards followed. Open up, Rahab! Rahab took a deep breath and opened the door. Where are the spies? We heard they were here. They were here, Rahab replied calmly. But they've gone now. I believe they went that way. The guards grumbled and followed the direction that Rahab pointed. Rahab closed her door, hands shaking. If the guards found out she'd lied, she'd be in a lot of trouble. She opened the hatch to her roof and let the two spies know it was safe to come out. But they must hurry and leave. The men called out of their hiding place, thanked Rahab and made their way towards the window. Wait, cried Rahab, before you go. Yes, wait. Before you go, please remember me. When the day comes for your people to take the city, remember that I helped you. I truly believe that your God is the one true and living God. I am a sinner, but I can see the truth. The men agreed and told Rahab to tie a scarlet thread to her window so they could rescue her. And with that, the men climbed out of the window back to the Israelite camp. When the time came for the Israelites to take over Jericho, they remembered Rahab and her faithfulness and kindness. And sure enough, her scarlet thread was at the window and Rahab was safe. Rahab had made many mistakes in her life. She hadn't always made the right choices. It would have been easy to write her off and say she was no good. But God had a plan for Rahab, and no one is too bad for God's eyes. All we need to do is turn to him. The best bit about Rahab's story is that she became the great-great-grandma of King David. And from the line of King David came Jesus. God used Rahab for great things. Her name will forever be part of the greatest story of all. The story of Jesus. Thanks for listening, boys and girls. We made it, just about. Have a great week. Bye.